Folks, I'd like you to meet a very good friend of mine, one of the best engine builders I can think of, Tony Hughes of Hughes Performance in Reno, Nevada. All right, Moses, well, I appreciate the compliments. Yeah, we have Hughes Performance Machine here in Reno, Nevada, and we're a custom engine machine shop, and we do all the machine work and build engines here. Okay, let's begin with the block, Tony. I know that this started out, it was basically a four liter engine. You got a core. Yeah, we got a four liter Jeep core. Um, and then there's, as you well know, Moses, there's many ways to go on how to achieve the four six liter deal. We can kind of segue into the cylinder head. If you look at the cylinder head here and see how this is what's considered the quench area of the cylinder head over here, combustion chamber. Obviously the, you know, the six cylinders have the intake and exhaust port is on the same side. That brings up the question of camshaft. This, both of these engine applications are around 8.7 to 1. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I have a particular cam preference, and you and I have discussed this in the past. I've even shared it with you. We built engines. You've done the machine work. I've done the assembly and fitment. Uh, let's talk for just a moment. You build a lot of racing and competition engines, and clearances and tolerances are absolutely critical. Balancing, we talked about. We walked through the shop. We talked about the balancer and each engine has its own balancing characteristics. Of course, you get a very forgiving uh, approach with the uh, inline six. Uh, it's inherently balanced at uh, given harmonics and so on, so it's an easier engine once it is balanced to keep smooth. Tony, let's take a minute and uh, share with the viewers what's going on with the peripheral parts. Your preference, I see the Melling high volume pump. I'm gonna let you explain uh, the parts that you prefer to put into this engine. 